if number one is your attitude number, your birth number, or your life path number, this is you. And this represents the sun, the original, the strong, the pioneer, and born aspiring leader. The sun is the spirit and soul in the word solo, the ego. You are born to lead, to take initiative and be in charge. You are nasty gifted with a leadership ability, creative gifts as a creative artist, and originality as an idealistic inventor through your natural vision from your intuitive, quick, energetic mind. You are known as the magical one who makes things happen because you're ambitious and you take action. So your take action ability to make things happen is in you. And your ability to bring vision into manifestation is a part of this vibration. You are fearless, independence, full of energy, a happy-go-lucky soul. You have created powers through the arts, the written word, and the verbal word. Through your king imagination you got a strong imagination you got king insight as a visionary and you're charming uh you're highly intelligence so the number one is the number of the whole the new beginning and the mind and so you are the type that never gives up on anything easily because losing isn't an option you want to always be number one and winning everything you do it's hard for you to trust others because you only rely on yourself you always has a plan or goal to accomplish. And this vibration makes you a great planner who's always plotting and have melts and tactics to accomplish. It is not like you to not have a goal or plan. Anything you set your mind on, you can accomplish. And you got the drive to accomplish. Just be careful not to be headstrong, bossy, dependent, insulting, narrow minded, impatient, and self centered. So with discipline and balance, you will win. You are nasty. You are nasty, loving, kind, and generous. Beautiful. You got a lot of enthusiastic. You're charming and you're attractive. You're not afraid of the spotlight. It's like you own the spotlight. And you love to be the center of att attention. You just love to be in the spotlight. You are like the sun that shines. It's light on earth. And it inspires things to grow in life itself. Sparking the consciousness of the earth. Motivating the earth. Just like you inspire and motivate people. So anybody who receives your energy becomes inspired and motivated, healed, happy, and successful. You are nationally a people-loving person and a problem solver. You are always dedicated to finding a solution to the problem you, you, that, that anybody have, that you have, or that people have. So just watch out for a tendency of needing others' approval and looking for acceptance because it can be your downfall. You're nationally gifted with a quick mind as a deep thinker. And you're gifted with many talents like music, writing, and the arts. You, you are great at researching so you can be a scientist or, any, or anything that deals with the written word, communication, thoughts, performing, and leading, or anything in leadership position, management position. You can't succeed in the cell. So the number one correlates with the sun. The sun brings you happiness and joy that you express naturally in front of others and within yourself. The sun energies empowers you and you radiate as a pioneer spirit or trendsetter who set your own trends. And this gives you the ability to be self-motivated and do your own thing. The sun is masculine energy and it influences you to have great willpower and also great strength. So just stay balanced and don't be selfish and become one with everyone and the acceptance of everyone in the terms of energy. And this is how you win. You are connected to the spiritual realm or higher frequencies of the universe naturally or the God's source. You just have to tune in and tap into the unseen world and stop, pay attention and listen to the inner voice or inner God and don't be stubborn and control your impulsiveness and you will know the God force that flows in and out of you constantly. You are the energetic one. You are the example of strength. And once you are on the upside, you are energetic, proper, and you, you are probably in your environment and in the public or among family and friends. You are probably in some way or some form. And you have a kind, generous, generous, or forceful and strong nature as a problem solver. And, and you're a nasty, a scientific fact-finding individual who has a scientific fact-finding mind. And you are the do-it-yourself type and doesn't like to receive help from anyone. You love children and you're good with children. So the number one is the number or vibration of leadership, freedom, uh, approving yourself, your uniqueness, new beginnings, and raw energy. You create your own reality under the number one. The number one is the number of victory 
and you love to accomplish things. You possess a positive outlook and a strong, uplifting personality. You are likely to be physically strong. Also, you comes up with original ideas and has the enthusiasm to create something new. You are a confident leader who wants to leave, leave a, a legacy. You guide others through breakthroughs. You also stand out in some way and direct others. Your mind is always on fire. And you usually become influential and important in some way or area in your life. You have a need to feel original, differently, and intellectual. You are honest, uh, uh, upfront, fearless person who's ruthless to accomplish your goals and objectives. You are always seeking to seek new opportunities and experiences. You are stylish and knows how to put colors together as in color coordinating. You have a ton a sense of humor and playfulness which can lighten up people. You are friendly, charming, loving, caring, and a great conversationalist, and you feel a need to be in charge no matter where you at or who you're with. You are the creative mind or artist that loves to shine, but you can ego trip, be lazy, destructive, and overbearing. You don't like a set routine, and multitasking is what you're good at. You are self reliant who love new ideas from, from others and yourself. You have high sex energy. The number one element is fire, which says you are fun loving. You are a two tip soul who's very protective of your loved ones. And you are protective of the weak type of people who can't stand, you can't stand to be bored and you can't stand to be restrained. You do what you want and you can rebel against authority or anyone who tries to box you in. Because your self-centered attitude can stop you from paying attention to others or listening to others. Because you don't care what others think. But you love to listen to others' ideas and your own ideas also. So you are great with your hands. You are a natural craftsperson. You have high energy. You give and receive or take. It's sitting you to overcome anything and to get ahead in life. You are best with people who treat you as a center of their world, giving you unconditional love, support, and freedom. You are the light, bringer of wisdom. And once you become your best version or your higher, higher or the, the higher version of you, you know what I mean? You will be magical and nothing can stop you because whatever you visualize, you will manifest. So balance out your aggressive and dominating nature through meditation and channel your energy through stillness. You're always starting up something new and taking initiative. You are playful and funny. You're all about the fun life. And this is you, Ashe. And the number one, souls, your career is a lawyer, a writer of any kind, a leader, a executive, a manager, a supervisor of any kind, a scientist, a producer, an entrepreneur, a photographer, the expert of any, of any kind. You could be the director the engineer, the freelance artist, and a designer of any kind, a photographer, a farmer, a, a self-made millionaire, a warrior, a fighter, a general, a business person, or a business owner, or a self-employed, a craftsperson, an activist, a spiritual leader, a seller, or a vendor, or any top position you can be in any career as a risk taker, also a graphic designer, and a the front runner position. Any career that deals with creativity is you. And as I can't bring it as light, it's still realer than this. I'll shake. The number three, if this is your attitude number, your birth number, or your life path number, this is you. And this deals with Jupiter. And so you are the socializer, adventurous, cheerful, and expressive communicator. You are a nasty, uh, ambitious leader who's free hearted and cheerful. You thrive on adventurous and exploring what life brings because you love life. Your happiness shows how much you love life. It's the way you express yourself that lighten up anybody's day, even the pessimistic type of people or the saddest type of people. People love you because you're a nasty a entertainer, you're a comedian, an actor who knows how to make people laugh and feel good. Your sense of humor is a part of the reason people miss you when you're not around. So the great thing about you is that you love to give because you are very generous and, and caring. But watch out for people who try to take advantage of your kindness and generosity. You are popular with people who know you and you're a great storyteller. You are a creative artist, hardworking, musical. You have a youthful spirit. You're, again, I say you're popular. You love to learn and you love knowledge. Spirituality is very important to you and 
your self growth and you are a great conversationalist you're active you're expressive you're positive and you're free hearted again i say so jupiter is a planet of expansion growth exploring and good luck so the number three soul you are you possess the energy of jupiter which correlates to this vibration so jupiter means you love to explore you stay on the go or the move you had to you have to do something or you will be bored you have a, a, a young appearance you have a playful nature and you act young with wisdom or knowledge you love to travel you love knowledge and you love to try out new things and different things you like experience, experience experiencing life yes experiencing life is very important to you you are curious and you even find yourself trying out daredevil stuff so fun is your name and being bored drive you nuts you are great at multitasks and this is a gift so you are always doing something you are highly intelligent you are sensitive to energy and you might be psychic or clairvoyance because you are a visionary who's a natural teacher and you give sound advice to people who comes to you for advice or wisdom and so wisdom and spiritual development or growth is what you strive for you love learning and you growing and growing to become a better person or your better self so spirituality is what balance you out and it is the way to stop you from being imbalanced or unfaithful, unloyal, inconsistent, and losing yourself. So on the downside, you can be the religious type of person. You can be jealous. You can be headstrong. You can be argumentative. You can be the one who exaggerate. You can be unsatisfied, irresponsible, take risks, reckless. You could gamble a lot, gamble a lot, or go to the screen. And this is when your energy is confused, scattered everywhere, and drained. But this is when you're depressed, you're over-emotional, and you can be fake and superficial. And so the fire elements gives you the creative powers and make you charismatic. You are naturally good with the word, the verbal word, the writing word, and express yourself in many ways. You have passionate and, and co compassion, your confidence. You have that willpower. You are bold, the brave one. And as long as you are balanced, you will win it in the fields of communication and public relations. And also, you could be a hairdresser, a barber, a salesperson, because you make a good salesperson, a good advertiser, a promoter, and a leader in any field, and a spiritual leader, a healer. So a lot of threes are comedians, musicians, artists, actors, and actresses in the fields of entertainment also. So you are a performer naturally. You are a adventurous person who has the drive and a passion to accomplish anything. You find it easy to read other's thoughts and feelings. You are charming, imaginative, stylish, yeah, stylish, elegance, with a good taste. You are friendly and open, and people feel at ease and comfortable around you. You are very aware of people's feelings and emotions. So most number threes have a good-looking appearance. You are a Maya for your universal outlook on things because you have a universal mind and thinking. You love to inspire and motivate people. You are very sensual, sensual, sensual. Has a high sex drive. And you're open to anything sexually unless you are disciplined. And you love beauty. And you're all about beauty. And the careers for you is an artist, a poet, a hairdresser, a barber, a writer, uh, the person who's a lawyer, a club uh, owner. You could be the one who owns jewelry, a jewelry shop. You could be a gardener, a performer of any kind, a filmmaker, a photographer. You, you could be the one who into the public uh, relations. So being into the public is you. A comedian, an actor, an actress, a journalist, a, a broadcaster, a radio broadcaster. You could be a, a psychologist, a therapist, a spiritual leader, a healer. You could be into the medical science. You could be into, you could be a counselor. You could be into the market. You could be a, a salesperson again. I say, and a massage therapist and a psychic. And this is you. As I can't let bring it this light, it gets the realer than this. I shit. If you know your light path number. We're going from 1 through 9, match number 11, match number 22, match number 33, so it's 12 numbers. So if you know your life path number, this is you. So listen closely as I go in. It gets no realer than this. I shade. If your life path is number one, you're here to be creative. You're here to be a leader. You're here to be unique. You're here to be ambitious. You're the one. Who's self-motivated so you're naturally a leader so any leadership position you're here to take initiative and you got a strong intuition you're here to use it and to follow your heart 
So you're the one who has strong gut instinct. You are ambitious. You go oriented. You achiever. You're a fighter. So you, you're here to create your own path and be a trendsetter in whatever you do. You dealing with knowledge or anything. You you are forceful. You are authoritative or organizer, and you, you type who can be very popular on a global scale. And you're a national uh, entertainer or performer. So you're here to protect the weak and to lead in anything or any management position. So this is your life journey. This is what you're trying to do, achieve. If your life path is number two, you're here to be the team player, the peacemaker. You're here to socialize and bring families and groups together uh, to negotiate. You're here to understand people because you're highly psychic or intuitive where you can feel the energy. You're here to create a, a comfortable space for people and for yourself. You're here to be the teacher. You're here to be the counselor. You're here to be the creative artist and to live in harmony and peace. You're here to be analytical and intelligence and aware, and you're here to socialize. So all together, you're here to bring things together, like team player and you behind the scene type of individual. So it's, you have the power behind the scene, so you're not the type who like to take the lead. So you're here to back someone up to support them. So if your life path is number three, you're here to be the creative artist, the natural leader. You don't, you're here to express yourself. You're here to understand people's thought words, and you're here to take action through thought and word. You're here to be the fun-loving who inspire people, who the one who uplift people when they're down and out. You're here to do this. You're here to uh, be spiritual and be a spiritual teacher, spiritual he healer, and you may have psychic ability or you may be clairvoyance. And so you're here to be the keen intellect and very adventurous, and through, you, with, and through being adventurous, you're here to uh, share it with people. You're here to spark people and put life into people as far as to entertain people. You got a great sense of humor, you great com comedian. So you're here to set people from all walks of life and to inspire those who need it. You're here to put the light into people. You're very entertaining. And so you had the power to manifest anything because you got may have a lot of psychic abilities. So you're a great communicator and you're the freedom seeker. So you're here to bring freedom to someone, help someone to understand themselves and to help those to be the freedom seeker or to have freedom and show them how to have freedom. And so you're the joyful, fun-loving type who is very compassionate with a broad mind. And you're very friendly. So you're here to inspire, uplift people to be their best self. You know what I mean? And that's through creative uh, talents, through charming, through many ways. But you are already motivated in self, and you are already motivated and the leader yourself. If your life path is number four, you're here to be practical, like – you get to prove and show things to being practical. Like anything that's spiritual, you also can prove it to be practical. So you're here to set foundations. You're here to help organize people and put things together. And you're here to bring family together and groups together and bring a foundation together that lasts forever. So you're the planner. You're the home-loving type. You're all about the culture, the ancestors, the roots. You're the visionary type. You're the one who, whatever you vision, you can manifest. You're here to be the manifester of your reality. So you are a provider. You're here to show people uh, uh, themselves, but you're also here to show them on a practical level. And so you're here to teach because you're a great teacher. You're here, you possess inner wisdom and knowledge. You're the stable type. You're disciplined. And you have practical thinking. So you nasty is the healer. So you got many males to heal that is practical and realistic. And so this is if you're the light path four, this is you. You know what I mean? And you're very persistent, you're patient, and you're a hard worker. And so you're here to work hard to achieve your goals, and with, through hard work, you will succeed. And so you definitely will have more than any other number because you're disciplined and you got the, the expertise to, to accomplish. If your light path is number five, so the number five says that you're here to be the free thinker, you're here to explore things and to bring a new way of thinking, to being a new way of of doing anything to be and to test out things and to be the one who explore through your senses, through what you taste, through what you feel, through what you hear, through what you see, through what you touch. That means so you devil the storyteller, you the one who got a quick mind, and so you're fun loving, you're the business type mind, and you're very sensual and you can be a very sensual being. You're the freedom loving, so you probably will fight for freedom. You're here to fight for that freedom because you you the one who the free spirit, you can't be contained. So you're here to experience things and to share this wisdom and knowledge because you're the one who loves knowledge and always seeking knowledge. So you, you can be the one who has telepathy power where you can read people's minds because you got a quick, smooth spirit that keep you on the go. You stay on the move. You're very clever. 
You're very curious about life. You're here to learn things and to share it. So you are the explorer, you're the venturous, and you're the one who, who are good at advertising things. And so you're here to be out in the media to express yourself. You deal with expression. So you're a, mag a magnet and you are a networker. So you, you're good at bringing people together and to entertain people. You're good at entertaining them and all this here. So you're here to do this. You're here to do all this I speak of. So you're adaptable, you're versatile. So any environment you can fit in. And so everyone loves that aura and your magnetic force. And you stay on the go. You're here to discipline yourself to, to stay in one field. As long as you discipline yourself, you will win. Because you're the one who like to multitask. And one thing will bore you. You hate doing the same old routine. So you're here to do many things and to share this through, through your experience. And you're here to express yourself. And you're here to show people how to express themselves. You're here to... Show people they can express themselves. If your life have a six, uh, you're naturally a teacher. You're naturally the one who likes to serve, support people, and help people. So you're here to serve the community, help the community, and give advice to the community. You're very much psychic or clairvoyance. And so you got a deep feel of the home life and beauty and of the family and life in general. You, you're an empath, which means you can be a psychic empath where you can read people's energy. So you're the one who knows things that people always come to for counsel. So... So you're here to serve people. So you definitely are a humanitarian, and you're a counselor, you're opinion-orient. So you're here to be that, the one the social worker. You're here to help people in many ways. And you are two-tilled, you're giving, you're compassionate, you're charming, you're very sensual, and you love peace, so you're peace-loving. And you're the seeker of knowledge. You're very curious about life. But at the same time, you're the protector of all individuals, even life itself, because you're the humanitarian. And so most likely a lot of number six they be into politics and things that deals with hum humanitarian issues so you, you're the responsible type and you're the provider you're cheerful very happy so you're here to uh, fight for those who who been doing who been done wrong so you about the bringing justice to the injustice so that's basically why you're here so you're here to support give give advice to people you're here to uh to support give advice to people and you're here to counsel people in many ways so this is what you're here for. So you're definitely a healer. You're here to help, to serve, to support people through your creative skills and ability. You could be the musician, the performer, but you're here to help in many ways as a life path number six. Now, if you're a life path seven, you are the psychic man. You are the one who's all about the truth, seeking the truth. So this makes you the one who's scientific man, who, who the researcher. So you don't believe everything you hear. So you're here to bring a new way of thinking. You're here to bring the, the truth out of fakeness and lies. You're here to dissect the cold thing. So you're the one who needs your isolation time so you can do the research study so you can bring the truth to humanity. You're here to uh, bring new ways and other ways, uh, showing people how to, how to heal. So you're here to bring things together because you create synergy. So you're here to bring anything together, which means knowledge together, that, that's factual together. And so you can bring a, a new way, of, of, a new philosophy to the light because you are the sage and the scientific mind so you are persistent ambitious and you're practical and you are the writer you're the communicator you're the one who has who understands the uh, human nature or the, uh, who have insight into the human nature and you're analytical so you definitely are the psychic mind so it's all about some mastery for you so you don't stop until you master something so you hear you, when you focus on something, you locked into it. So you're here to create magic for, for for those to help bring peace and harmony to the world through truth and knowledge and wisdom. And so that's why you're always decoding something. You always ask the question because you want to know. So you're here to bring that philosophy to the world. So they need people like you because you're the great teacher who give people great understanding of things. So you so it's best for you to meditate. So you deal with the spiritual realm, the extraterrestrial realm. And you don't mind being alone because during the long time, that's when you do your healing and your resting and your meditation. So you're naturally connected to the higher powers. You're here to be that, that psychic empath, that, that um, highly intelligent, dreamy individual, imaginative inventor. So you're here to invent new things. And through you learn all this knowledge, you, you come up with ideas and you're always inventing. So you're here to be a trendsetter when it comes to philosophy, when it comes to knowledge, when it comes to all this to help people. It could be through numerology, astrology, so anything that deals with div divination or divination, you're here to do. So you're very spiritual. You're the most spiritual number, which is seven. If this is your life path. You are charming, charismatic, and so you just make sure you are the magic or the master of the mind and knowledge. So you always strive for self-mastery, no matter what. So anything you set your mind to, you can achieve. You're here to help those through knowledge and not to always be isolated as the life path seven. It's all about what you said and what you wrote. And also, as Life Path 7, you're also a problem solver. 
All this in one. You have the magical touch. You about the completion of the mind. So it's the master of the mind and the master of knowledge. Now, if you're a life path eight, if you are a life path eight, you are the thought to one. So you're about manifesting your your vision. You're the natural leader. It's like the seven is a natural leader. You are too. So you're the one who is ambitious, organized, but you, you're the one who is the master of material things, the master of having things, the master of organizing. And so you're very organized. You're a great planner. And so you the one who has a desire for peace and love of, the, of, the, of humanity. And so you're here to transform the world into practical ways to bring materialistic things to people, which is prosperity, because you're the number of prosperity. You're here to uh, get this money, you know what I mean, and share this money so people can live in, in abundance, so people can live prosperous. You're here to not only to for people to live prosperous, but to bring groups and organizations together so they could live prosperous. And... Having your own business is the key because you can't uh, be under nobody else because you will rebel. So you're the one who insightful. You got your very uh, intelligence or intellectual, and you got the psychic ability if you tap into it. So most likely a lot of apes don't tap into their psychic self, but when they do, they, they be one of the most powerful. So you're spiritual conscious. You have a desire for peace. That I mean, So you're definitely a planner and natural leader. If your life path is number nine, you are the conscious mind. Higher thoughts, so your thinking is big and global. So you definitely the old soul, the psychic, the the wise, the sage, the visionary, that the creative artist, the artist genius, the intuitive genius. You here to be the problem solver, the giver, to be generous, to fight for justice, to fight the injustice. So you here to do humanitarian issues. You highly sensual. You are the healer. You are the charmer, and you're very stylish. All looking good, and also you're here. As a communicator, you're good at anything that deals with the intellect, communication, and spirituality. You're the master at whatever you do. Just like the seven, you're to be the expert. And you deal with the soul, the spiritual aspects, the, es the esoteric realm of reality. So you're here to do anything to, that help people, that heal people. It could be through pneumology, astrology. It could be through your psychic visions, it could be counseling, uh, being a therapist, a social worker, anything that deals with helping and serving the community. You're here for that. You as the old soul, so you got a, a responsibility to do on a big level, on a big global level. So you're here to do things like that on a big scale, not a small scale. And so as a light path number nine, this is what you're here for. You know what I mean? So you definitely are the one who are the humanitarian. So you understand the human nature. You understand somebody's mind, so you make a great psychologist. So anything that deals with being a therapist, psychologist, you're here to, to do that. You got this gift. And so... Beauty, uh, anything that did creativity, you're here to do that. And so you're here to help people in many ways, not just physically, mentally, spiritually, but all around. So you're the old soul, so you you got all the traits of all the numbers. So since you are the number of completion, you'll master anything. So you back every number. So you the strongest number, strongest single number, and the most powerful, so as single. You know what I mean? So you're here to help people on many scales as a fighter. If you're not doing this, you're not doing what you're supposed to do. I mean, spirituality of any kind, you're here to do that. You're here to create paths and ways and systems that help people in many ways. So you're here to be that psychic empath because you feel people pain and emotion and you understand it. And so you're here as like a light worker, a great healer. And so as a light path nine, this is what you're here to be, that sage, that warrior. That warrior on every aspect of life because you got the power to overcome every obstacle as the light path number nine. If your light path is 11, if your light path is 11, you definitely are the messenger, the teacher, the master of psychic. Because you understand energy. You understand the unseen and the seen. So any world that deals with the unseen and the seen, so you're here to help heal people in all type of ways through your creative abilities and skills. And you're here to be that writer, that musician, the great student of life. And also you are the one who are the one who give out this information, who give out this light, who spread this light. So you are the guiding light, the example of wisdom. And so you're highly intuitive, you're sensitive to energy. So you're here to help people on a major scale that deals with the spirit, the extraterrestrial realm, the unseen world. Because you're definitely uh, here to help to raise people's spiritual awareness. You're here to help people open, up, open themselves up to spiritual realms. And so you're here to help people reach their higher self. So you are here to bring justice to the injustice in the world. So you definitely are the light work once you balance and so you're here to help heal people in many ways. And so not only just people, but many people in the world. So 
you represent the global healing, the global helping. So you make sure to master psychic because you know about this energy. You know about the unseen world. You're not scared of it. So you're the highly intelligent one who dive deep off into the knowledge. And so you got a very powerful vibration as the master number 11. So nothing's stopping you. You're here to bring this light to the world as the lightened one. You're the lightened one. When you're talking about the Illuminati, which means enlightenment, you are the one who's enlightenment. This is the double number. So you definitely got the double vibration of the sun and the moon. So you understand, which is the father and the mother. So you're here to do that, to help serve people on a global scale. And so if your life path is the master number 22, this vibration is very powerful as the master building that and the master architect. And so ancient wisdom is part of you as the old soul. So you are the force of nature. You're national leader. You are the philanthropist. You are the practical one, the one who visualizes. And what you visualize, you create your reality. So you are here to build foundations as the foundation builder. So you're the master uh, material manifester. So you're the hardworking, the one who has peace, the one who's strong, the one who's powerful, the one who's advanced, the one who's meditative, and the one who's global-minded and who's global thinking. So you're definitely the inventor who always thinking outside of the box. So you're the intuitive genius. So it's for you to take responsibility. You become prosperous as a teacher, as the master builder of foundations all over the world, the master builders of corporations, the master builders of communities. And also, you can help build somebody's life domain with your powers. So you're here as the one who get the job done. You go orient and you're the old soul and you got a superior noble spirit as a master number 22. And this is your duty. So the master number 33, what you're here to do, you're here to bring the light to the world. You're here to help raise the consciousness of the whole world, to dive off into the truth and bring the truth to the world. And so you are the one who is the sage, the old soul. You're here to uplift humanity. You are the fighter for injustice. You're the big humanitarian. Of all the all humanitarian, then you got the devil vibration with the Jupiter, Venus, and Neptune spirit. That I mean, you definitely are the natural doctor, the creative artist. That I mean, you're the cheerful one and charming, and you're the you're the devoted one, the loving one, and the psychic empath. You're clairvoyant, you're highly intelligent. You're all about beauty, and so this is how you want to see the world in beauty, not the physical beauty, but more in the inner beauty. So you're about the soul. So you're here to raise the consciousness of the souls. And so you're full of wisdom. You're always sharing your wisdom to uplift the masses and bring the injustice because you're all about the truth and bring the light to the world. So as the master number 33, this is your responsibility because you're very compassionate. You're the one who aspires. So you're here to aspire, uplift. So you deal with the global consciousness and the collective consciousness of thoughts and words and bring this to the world. So you know that with your aspiration, you can help motivate many. And so you're here to do that, raise the consciousness of many. Now, now, to look off into these numbers, which is the 11, 22, and 33, also look at 2, also look at 4, also look at 6. Because if your number is 11, look at 2. If yours 22, look at 4. If yours, the mass number 33, look at 6. Because these are also part of your vibration too. So with that being said, if you heard what six six is, or four or two is, or two or four or six, then you understand. To look further into the light path numbers, look at my other videos or audios, and you wouldn't understand. Now, as I came late, we bring this light. I know I read you like a book. I know you. I see through you. It is definitely what it be. I read all your numbers, your attitude number, your birth number, and your light path numbers, 